Hey game, this is Brian here. Uh, you might have seen Rick is working on his plague, so I thought I would do a little recording of me working on my Asterians here. And so uh, I'm going to start with my my marionettes first. I got just kind of a regular one. And um, I actually tried a one paint scheme earlier that I just wasn't quite feeling, so I, I re redid it, uh, reprimed the guy, and then um, I'm planning to do a kind of a lighter design uh, with, with a little bit of kind of tealish green accents. And we're going to see how well that one works. So kind of with that, uh, I've actually already done, you know, on top of priming, I did hit them with uh, some some dark tone wash because uh, I'm planning to kind of have that, uh, that shade already in place. And then I'm just going to kind of dry brush for kind of more of the, the whiter, lighter parts. And so with that, we're going we're gonna to go. So I think to start, we are going to do most of that... Uh, that white touch up here. So I'm going to get some white on the palette. And my plan is to do it a little bit, a little bit dry brushy um, initially. And then I'll kind of highlight some, some other pieces. So for the most part, I kind of was feeling a kind of wider design for these guys. Not much of a dry brush, really. <laughs> but that's okay. So the main torso I'm actually going to be doing kind of with some green here. Uh, so I'm just going to try to accent some of the other pieces. And then do a little bit here. I'm going to plan to have a little bit of gray to uh, kind of fill in some of these other parts. I'll probably use some of my new speed paints for that. I'll try to keep this guy in frame as we, uh, we're working on him here. So most of the kind of harder elements on his on the the body of these guys is kind of what I'm looking to have in white. As I continue to move him out of frame, sorry guys, I'm not used to painting on camera. That's okay. As Bob Ross would say, you know, there's happy little mistakes, but there are mistakes. And we can work with them as we go. So, that's kind of a good start. I'm just going to get a little bit of work on the face there. Okay. Just a little bit of that top part. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. So with that, I think I think I'm gonna go right into my little accent color, my teal. I'm gonna use Elemental Bolt uh, from Army Painter. It's kind of a nice pretty vibrant uh, teal here. I didn't want it to go too green because uh, I, I, I have a lot of green uh, green minis already. So I was like, let's let's try to find something that uh, that kind of works. Okay, so I'm going to change up my brush here. And I'm going to try to go with kind of these main chest piece elements. Okay, not too bad, not too bad, I think I'm going to 
some of these parts here. The FIFA Women's World Cup is going on in the background, so go USA. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of good. Just get kind of under under the arm here. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Okay. It's coming together pretty well, I think. Yeah. So let me see if I can get them in focus here. So, yeah. Just a little bit of teal on that. I'm kind of digging it. Okay. And I think... Why not? We'll, we'll give those little antennae that hit a color. It's kind of that weird thing where, like, where my camera set up is right before my light, which is like right above it. And so it's like where I need it to, to be so I get a good look at it isn't quite where the camera is placed. Uh, it's kind of my first time recording like this, so you know, it'll really be something that uh, you know, I keep working on and try to improve as it keeps going in and out of focus. Man, that, that part's the worst. Better. Okay. So, I think now, I do like the idea of the little Cyclops eye trying to get it in focus here. It just really wants to focus on things in the background. So, I do think I want to try to get some red for the Cyclops eye. And then for that, let's see, I do have a speed paint, but I think in this case, uh, I'm just going to do some, some regular pure red. Just because it's such a small spot. Don't need much paint. And this guy, of course, is kind of proving as my my uh, practice one that I'll probably do the rest of them in. So, a little extra paint. So, we'll so got a little bit more around the edge than I really intended, but uh, I'll be able to touch that up then. My cat might be joining us at some point here. Because she likes to cause trouble as she climbs up things. Two seconds. Come here, little girl. Okay. And we're back. All right. So it's looking pretty good for what I'm looking for. I really didn't have a, a uh, you know, a, a difficult scheme in mind. So I'm kind of kind of liking that uh, the simple one's coming together well. So I think with that, let's see, I have Grim Black as a speed paint, um, but maybe I just do some dark tone in some of these other recesses to give them a bit more of kind of the gray that I'm looking for. I will say, uh, this is actually the first time using like, uh, you know, speed paints and shades uh, from droppers, dropper bottles. 
Uh, and I gotta say, I'm I'm digging the the ability to to control the uh, the amounts a bit more uh, than it always been. I think I need a bigger brush. Something that uh, I was always worried about with the um, when I would use like some Citadel paints, some GW ones. This brush is pretty stiff. Is you know making use of the uh, the color out of a pot. Yeah. Okay. Coming together, coming together. Okay. And then I'm actually planning to do uh, one of my speed paints. I got uh, broadsword silver here. I'm going to do that for the gun. And so do the the feet here with the uh, the dark tone getting some of those joints in the backs of his his leg there I think I need to touch up the uh, the rest of the legs here with some some white which will be good I'm just gonna get a little bit of shade in there okay Okay, a little bit more white then, and then we're just going to get the inside of that leg. Kind of touch up these areas. So I'm just trying to get the inside of this leg here. Okay. Yeah. Coming together pretty well. Yeah. All right. So with that, uh, actually, since I have it out, I want to touch up that eyeball like I was talking about. And once again, kind of overdid it a little bit. Had a little too much paint on my brush. I should also preface this video now that it's like well into it. That I don't really consider myself any kind of expert painter. I I consider myself quite the amateur, actually. As you can tell by my my magnificent camera work, is it it cannot stay in focus. Let's see if I just put something else behind it here. Some more too much paint again. And so. Okay. So, with that, and even there, I guess I just have too much stuff in my background that it thinks should be in focus. Okay. Well, with that, um, let's see. What should be next? I think, why don't we do the the silver on the gun here and I might do I might actually do this for some of those inner joints too just to show off the uh, kind of tech nature of these guys because these this is a marionette so they're kind of little robot -y drones that the Asterians use on top of all their other drone stuff that they have and I will say I do like the the new speed paints. 
Uh, I didn't use the I didn't use them before the 2.0 version, but I do gotta say uh, I have enjoyed just how well they cover things. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty good. Now I think I'm going to do some of these uh, joints here, like in the back of the legs. Some of those joints in between the legs there. Yeah. And a little bit of that joint right above the uh, the knee. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I think anyway. Like I said, I am a fan of simple designs. Probably to my detriment a little bit, but I like what I like. Don't know if I'll be keeping all the audio in, but you know, could doesn't hurt to have a little ongoing commentary as we're working. Just kind of touching up some areas here that uh, we're lacking a little. Okay. Yeah. And so with that, I'll probably let some of this dry, but I do think I can I can touch up on uh, some stuff on the back here that you can see. You can see camera. There's another number of uh, little ports on this guy, and I think it'd be worthwhile to add some color there. So I'm just going to do some reds, just to, to put a little touch of color on them. I think that works pretty well. Yeah. And why not? Never hurts to have a little tip on the gun. I'm digging it. And so a lot of times what I'll do is I, I do typically hit uh, these things with a little extra wash uh, to get into some of these other areas. And I'm trying to remember which pool I made that was my tone. Is that this one? I think so. So, doing a little. little tone. Okay, I got so much in my palette. I'm just going to do a new pool of dark tone just so I'm not mixing, mixing up stuff. And I'm not doing a lot. Like, I don't want to overload it. But at the same time, you do need... Yeah. Okay. And then we'll just touch up kind of the front torso of this guy. And I think the the future ones here I'll be able to uh, to go through a little faster. Yeah. Okay. And then yeah, so I think we'll, I think this is actually pretty, pretty good for our, our first dude here. So, I think that'll be the, the, most of the paint scheme I'll be going with. If I can just keep it in frame. You know, just kind of a, a really light scheme. It got some little accent pieces with that teal. But, uh, I think that works pretty well. And actually, to showcase... I forgot to, to preface at the beginning of this video, so the, the color scheme 
uh, is inspired by Macross. Uh, I've, I've always loved that series, and, uh, and I've always felt the Asterians kind of fit that aesthetic pretty well. And uh, just to give a little taste of things to come, here was the uh, test scheme I did for my ciphers. You can see why they were uh, also kind of that, that lighter tone. Uh, has blue instead of the green. I think this combo works much better. Um, so yeah. So thank you guys for checking out the video. Uh, we're going to keep keep working on these things, but I wanted to do at least the, the first one on camera here. And uh, I'll be showing them off as I go. Thanks. Bye.